Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I finally have brought you a Lowe's Paper Squishy. Now this is something that has been requested on my channel over and over and over and over again. Literally from like five hours ago up until like three years ago. Um, I'll try and put a few comments on the screen for you just to give you like an idea of how many people have actually, you know, requested this. I'm not going to be able to get everyone's, you know, request on the screen today, but thank you to anyone who has left any, you know, requests for videos, paper squishies, anything like that. Just, it means the world and we get to make them and shout you out and all at the same time. So if you have any, you know, future requests after this one, please do comment it down below because I do listen. And then if I choose yours, I usually put your comment on screen. So yeah, this one here is of the Lay's Paper Squishy. I did stop doing Paper Squishies for around about a year and a half just because um, I didn't need them anymore. I already had so many squishies of my own and I was no longer making as many. Um, but with this new lockdown and the fact that we're all staying inside and so many people are wanting to make them and asking me to make them, I figured I would do so. I also am finding it so therapeutic just to sit down with a movie on and draw these designs out. So I mean, no matter how old you are, I'm sure that this is gonna give you some benefits, it's gonna relax you, give you a little project, take your mind off things and, you know, just keep you busy. And you get to make cute little faces like this, which automatically makes me happy at least. So yeah, anyway, I hope you're staying inside, staying home, staying safe, staying in healthy as possible and I'm just going to get straight on into how I made this lace paper squishy, squishing it at the end for you. So to make this paper squishy I just took an A4 piece of printer paper, folded it in half and then drew around a tea light holder to make this circle. You can draw around a cup or a glass or just anything that circle and to make your circle obviously and you just want to write out the word lays on it just in the same kind of font style as on the original piece. So I actually hold up like um, a picture on my laptop just of whatever I'm drawing. So in this case, it's gonna be the Layers logo. I had the logo up on the screen just from Google and then I just copied it down onto the piece of paper. I did all the outlines in an orange because I seen that like the actual logo was like ombre out from yellow to orange. So I did the outline in the orange and then filled in the rest of the colors. So I did red around, you know, the actual Layers bit using the fine liner to like, lay that all out lay that all out um like just to like you know lay out all the edges and then filled it in with the brush tip which is another reason why i love these pens because you get the choice of both so i colored in the yellow colored in it with a bit more orange just to give it a little bit more shading and once i was happy with that i moved on with the rest of the piece of paper and i colored the whole thing in a yellow color this took me around about 20 minutes but I really enjoyed it. I had a movie on in the background and I was just colouring away, relaxing, just yeah taking my time. Some people would probably argue why didn't I just use a piece of yellow paper because I don't have any and um, I just quite enjoy colouring in at the moment and I don't have any colouring in books so this provides a great alternative. So once my whole sheet was done in a yellow, I then decided to add on the details. So I wrote out the word classic just because that is the kind of original colour in America, I think. And actually 48% of my viewers on this channel are from America. So I'd love to know where you are from if you're watching today. Give me a little comment. Let me know just, you know, your country. I am from England myself and um, yeah, I thought that'd be quite interesting. So yeah, on the bottom of the packet, I just ended up drawing a cute face as you guys know if you are familiar with my channel i put cute faces at everything it's just what i do if you don't want to put that on there you don't have to you can draw out some potato something like that stick that on there instead but i decided to go with a cute face for the little nutritional information bit, I quite like that on my um, squishies. Um, if you've seen my Pocky one recently, I did that and I thought it looked really cool. So I just drew that out with a little kind of normal biro type pen and then coloured it back in with a Posca paint pen just to lighten it a little bit and then did some squiggles. I used the same Posca paint pen on the eyes to act as highlight, but it didn't really end up working very well because my pen's actually running out. So I actually went in with a dot and tool and some white acrylic paint and just added the highlight that way and also neatened up some of the writing this worked out really well i don't know why i've never thought of this before just using a little bit of paint um but yeah really happy with that 
Whilst that was drying, I decided to add a little bit more detail to the top. I didn't really know what to put on there, but I seen on like some of the um, like bigger packets and stuff like that on Google of these lays, they had like sort of like bits up there say like new recipe, new design, um, family size and that sort of stuff. So I decided to make a little red strip and then write out new design because obviously this was a like my design of Lay's chips with a little kind of cute face on there so yeah I thought new design would work out a little bit better can you see my little pen there it's actually a Christmas gingerbread one I love it I absolutely love it I use it on everything um but yeah I went in then with a brown um felt tip and just shaded a little bit more added a little bit more shadows that sort of stuff to the logo and to that little bit at the top once that was done I then just started taping away at the kind of piece just sellotaping all around the edges and making sure that it all lined up well cutting off any excess bits of white paper that happened to be there and then I just started you know taping it all together taping all the edges around leaving the top edge free so that I could stuff it at a later date I made sure to cover the whole entire piece neaten it up around the edges you know just put strip by strip by strip of tape making sure to overlap the bit that still needed to be connected obviously one side of mine was folded and I just taped it up so that it was all connected kind of like a little paper bag once it was then taped up I then needed to stuff my paper squishy because um it wouldn't be a squishy if it didn't have any filling so I ended up using um layers of toy stuffing and layers of off cuts of memory foam just using up you know bits that I've cut off DIY squishies you can use whatever you want to put inside of yours so long as it's soft and a nice texture it will work fine so as you can see here once I was finished I then just taped up my paper squishy to tape these rectangle pieces I usually just tape the corners first of all pulling it tight as I do so so that when I get to the middle I can pull tight and then it will all kind of seal really really kind of flat and neat because when you really really stuff your paper squishies it can sometimes get a little bit crinkled a little bit you know caught up in the other bits of tape and it can look a mess so you want to take your time with this making sure to pull it really tight so that it lays nice and flat i said lays again oh, just i never get used to that it's walkers here in the uk <laughs> So once all taped up, your squishy is then gonna be complete. As you can see on the back of mine, I was really lazy and didn't bother doing the design. You can just do like the back of the crisp packet if you like to, um, but I haven't just because like I said, I'm very lazy and I don't usually do the back of my paper squishies. I do occasionally, but not very often because I mean, it's a waste of pens because I only really see the front anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Squishiness wise, this one here should be very good because I find when they are like the whole piece of paper, it seems to trap more air they are able to get nice and fat and chunky which is what we like i did mine in layers of toy stuffing um like bits of memory foam cut off from like when i make my squishies then toy stuffing and that sort of stuff but you can use whatever you want like soft kind of material wise inside to stuff yours i'm sure anything will work fine in the past i've used things such as like um carrier bags from shopping um felt off cuts fabric off cuts bits of toilet paper tissue paper that sort of stuff so anything inside i know some people have said about like cuts of wool and yarn and that sort of stuff using inside i've never used that because i don't really use wool or yarn or have any off cuts to use but i've heard that's a good thing but yeah squishiness wise it bounces back really really nicely with the two like materials that i use and I only use them because it's what I have on hand. Like I said, I make a lot of squishies. Like, I don't know if you've seen this little one recently where I made the Wooloo squishy. This had so many offcuts. So that basically has filled up this paper squishy today. And it means that I don't have any waste either. So, yeah. If you find that your paper squishy gets a little bit crinkled, it kind of works really well on the crisp packet ones because they're usually crinkled, aren't they? You can just smooth it out and then leave it for around about 10 minutes and all the air will come straight back into it and it will puff up nicely. It's pretty much doing that right away now, but usually about 10 minutes is how long it can take some designs. It just depends. So yeah, that is the end of today's video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you do make it, then please do tag on Instagram. I'll be sure to, you know, repost you on my stories and everything. And yeah. Also, if you could give it a like, that would be amazing because the more likes that I'm getting on particular videos, the more I'm doing of them. So like, if you like the paper squishy ones, I'll do more of the paper squishy ones. Hopefully that makes sense. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it and I will see you very soon for another video. Bye.